I was really excited about it. In the dream, this happened this morning. I went to sleep at 6.30, woke up at 8. I get a tap on my shoulder. I turned around. It was going Tap me on my shoulder while I was happy and I was getting this tent. Then he rushed around me and snatched the tent and took off with it. I was like, what are you doing? And I woke up. That that dream was too important. When you were talking about Quincy, I'm sitting over here about the Queen. I'm sitting over here and this is what the Holy Ghost released about Quincy. You ain't going to be able to go to him not this yet. He's going to come to you. Mm-hmm. And when he comes to you, it's going to be in the form of sort of like an infant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. it's the nurse mm-hmm. that you have already mm-hmm. instilled mm-hmm. in him. Mm-hmm. He's, he's fighting mm-hmm. against you, mm-hmm. but very soon he's going to have to come for that nurture. And this is when you're going to be able to release him completely, but not until he He's coming. But it's going to be in this shape he's going to need nurture. Yeah. So nurture. I don't have a problem with that before. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm letting you know. And we probably have a problem with that before. I don't okay. have a problem with that before. I don't see that. I'm saying I'm going to stop myself. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? You know, saying. To go far. I don't mind having a friend. I can't understand that.
school. I worked hard to get this. Mm -hmm. You know, I kept myself in a pure place in order to get this, you know. So don't allow what I have done to be in vain. And I be the only one that can get, be able to enjoy it or embrace the newness of what it is that's coming. I can't just say right now to y'all, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying, we lost in, we, we, you know, we so in love. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you is, is every day he looks to talk to me and I look to talk to him. Like yesterday I hadn't heard anything about six and I was like, oh, six. Oh, <laughs> next thing I know, hey. Phone was ringing. <laughs> you know, it's like I figured you were busy today. I said I wait a little bit. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. So, boom, got a call. And this very, you know, so I look to hear it, and that's something that I ain't. Exactly. An older man do. Man, you know, when you young, you think, oh, for full of worms. You do. You know, you think that. When you young, you think that, yeah, you know, it's like, full of worms. Or, yeah. or whatever the case may be, okay. that kind of stuff. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, and, and he told me, he was like, you trying to be funny about my age, man. You really are, Jeffy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> you really trying to be funny about it. Huh? <laughs> he was like, you really trying to be funny? I said, no, I'm not. I'm just having to absorb it. He said, well, I tell you what. You just chill out. It won't matter for now. He ain't lying. He He did not lie. And every day I talk to him, it's starting to not matter more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's starting to not matter more and more. And more. You know, so like I don't want somebody that needs me. I want somebody that loves me. That's right. That's what he said. And that has been my prayer. I don't want somebody that needs me. I want somebody that loves me. Mm -hmm. said, That's what I want. I don't want, you know, I don't want that. I have women be at me, you know, because they think I got something that they, you know, want to try to get. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want that. You got to pay attention to stuff. I don't want that. Like, well, what was it about me? You see me, I was aggravated. That's why. Right. <laughs> when you see me, I was aggravated. You didn't see me, like, you know, today in a ray of sunshine. I was aggravated. I see that you were. Oh, yeah, I was angry. That's what it's all about. You know, we be talking. And the thing of it is, y'all. I still ain't told him all the time. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and it's time. See, I like the people to know. I still ain't told him. And I'm saying. He was like, I go to church. He said, no, I'm, I'm, you know. He said, do you believe in God? I said, I sure do. He said, oh, I go to church. You know, he said, but you know, you just let me know. I go to church every Sunday. He said, I basically, I'm there unless I'm on vacation, you know, or something. He said, because I'm retired and I only work part-time. He said, I make sure they don't work me on Sundays because I, I go to church. He said, so I go to church every Sunday. I said, I do too. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't do. Yeah, lie. Yeah, lie. Well, I didn't lie. Oh. Hey, you know, okay. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I didn't do. You know, so what was that? That was that. But I'm telling y'all, it's like it's a newness here. It's like it's a newness that's here. And in this newness, I'm embracing this newness. Do I have it all figured out? No. But am I open? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It will happen. It will happen for you. So if you see God closing some doors, some people, you know, shifting away or some things or however, be okay with it because it's just making room for something better, for something else to come. Some doors have got to close. Doors have got to close. Quincy. 
That's a door that's got to close. Like, really, really close. So that a new door can't open. So, and so this is what God is saying. I, I Like I said, I was going to do 33. I don't have the time. But I seen what I needed to see in 32. Um, let me finish it, though. Let's finish it out. Let's finish out this chapter here. Um, where did I stop at? Yeah, so, okay, 41 says, Yeah, I will rejoice over them to do them good. Thank you, God. And I will plant them in this land of surety. Look at that. Assuredly, with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus said the Lord, Like as I brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. I'm going to get my stuff. I'm going to have somebody that loved Delphine this time. Amen. That's all you asked for. Somebody that loved Delphine. Thank you, Lord. And fields shall be brought in this land, whereof you say, it is desolate without man or beast. Look at that. She ain't got no man. It is given unto the hand of the Chaldees. Y'all see that? It said the field is without man or beast. She ain't got no man. She over there by herself, you know. Made me think about how Leola then was picking at me. But you know what I found out yesterday that really got me <laughs> as it relates to her. Quincy has been very, like, distant with me. For no apparent reason, I couldn't explain it. I don't make advances at him, but I'm nice to him. But he would be funny, you know, towards me, like, like he couldn't say nothing nice. Even in the event of my aunt passing and all that, he just act like he just can't say nothing nice. Well, that bothered me. And I kept trying to explain it to a couple people that I talked to. I don't get it, you know what I'm saying? What is his point? What's his problem? Well, the Lord told me the other day that his sister was going to tell me something. Lo and behold, me and her talked yesterday, and she told me, she said, me and Mama was talking, and Mama said that Quincy told her that people are saying that you and him are going to get back together, and he fighting. He said, no. I said, that explains why he been treating me like he treat me. He trying to make sure that it don't be true. So you won't take out on me something I'm in. Let me tell y'all something. You want to make me mad. Punish me for something I didn't do. I do not like that. Like, you want to take out on me. I ain't have nothing to do with what them folk said. Well, come to find out. It was real. So, So really, over after all, I've been your threat, huh? Mm-hmm. All that time that you was doing your little picking, mm-hmm. because I was by myself, mm-hmm. saying that I was, didn't nobody want me, mm-hmm. all that little kind of stuff, because I'm preserving myself, mm-hmm. and you thought I was preserving myself for him, mm-hmm. when it was just the fact that I just didn't want to be played over, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. So I said, oh, that explains why he had been handling me the way he been handling me there. Trying to prove something to these folk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I, but I go on to say this, though, and I say this on record. I'm in this pulpit. I bet you something inside of his heart wants to come to me. I bet you. You can't tell me it ain't crossed that man's mind that that was the better place for me to be. Mm-hmm. But because of that pride, 
that image. That's what they won't say or not.